Hola amigos y amigas, I am Leila, also known as Miss Bohemia, continuing with my wash day that is an all sultanicals wash day. I am using their pineapple collection, I have pre put I have shampooed, I have deep conditioned, I have leavened my hair and it's time to style my hair with a pineapple whip, drip and grip, super hold gel and I am super excited because I do really well with gels, especially sultanicals gels. So let's jump right in. Oh, the whole line smells amazing. It says use a moderate amount, so I always get it from the cap because I don't want to waste it. So let's see. Kind of tap my fingers in a little. I have a good amount in the palm of my hand, and then I just gauge as to how it feels on the hair. I'm gonna need to go in with more. I love Sultanicals gel. So let's see how this does on the hair. Forgot to say it has incredible tack, which to me is a good sign. Hmm, this is really gonna make me all coily. But that's how I feel. So now let's see. It smells incredible. This whole line has had a beautiful richness to it. The rest of the line has been light, but very like nourishing and luxurious and rich. This obviously is a gel, so it's gonna feel different than the shampoo and the pre-poo and the deep conditioner, which are more like creams, right? It feels like it's gonna be a stronghold gel. We'll see how it really takes but i see why they say a moderate amount like honestly i put in a bunch so my refresh days maybe like a tap on the fingers to like tap it on and refresh that way but i don't think i'm gonna need much extra or too much more on my refresh days so normally with my sultanicals gel experiences i start out with what i put on my hair and then i always add a little more but now with this one i'm not going to go in heavy-handed because i feel like i already went in pretty heavy-handed and the gel is making its presence known on my hair let me put it that way so let's see how it all turns out and the verdict is i don't know my hair is a hundred hundred percent dry it's a little teeny bit damp and the tips of some areas if i was not to film right after diffusing my hair would have a chance to properly set you know if that makes sense to just like be a hundred percent fully dry and then i think the curls and the feel etc would shine through even better i haven't even fluffed or anything but let me just turn around let's see how it looks how does it look I am feeling it. It feels so good. It feels super soft. Like the curl structure itself, very strong, really present, really amazing. Look at how far down it goes. Boing. I love that. Feels really good. So soft and so bouncy, not at all weighed down. So I'm going to go ahead and add the Pineapple Twist Curl Mist, which was a bonus product of the pineapple line. And rather than just do a video on the mist, I'm just going to use it and incorporate it into this. So it feels way more liquid than an oil. So this is not kind of like a finishing oil. So I'm going to be very light with it. Mmm, the scent is incredible. So now it's kind of dried on my hands. This is kind of like for me to add a little scent to the hair because honestly, it's very light. It's going to dissipate in no time. I'm kind of treating it like a finishing oil, but you can use it in whatever manner suits your needs best. Oh my god, my hands are fully dry. You know how like sometimes we use something like that on your hands and it feels sticky? This feels super smooth. And so it's giving that same vibe and feel to the hair. It's perfection. I am in heaven. This wash day has been fire. So tentacles, y'all have another incredible success. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do really well with all of the sultanical stylers, but mainly I've seen cream versus gel. I tend to gravitate towards the gels and this one is amazing. Incredible hold, but also your hair is very light, bouncy and moisturized. So it's a win, win, win. I am back and it is day three. I don't have makeup on. I am not dressed up because there's a lot happening. I don't have the bandwidth. <laughs> to do my makeup I have a lot of work and stuff to do and i had to get up early go to the dentist so it's just been a messy day and initially i thought i had to wash my hair on day four because on day five i'm going in to get braids because next week a week exactly from today i'm getting hand surgery if you're interested in why i'm getting hand surgery and what the hell's going on with my hand i had hand surgery on my left hand i'm getting it on my right hand and i talk all about my left hand experience up here but because my schedule is chaotic and you all know how it is when you're a curly girl and you have to schedule it in and when do you wash your hair and da, 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 da. it's even more complicated when you have to kind of schedule it in and try to look good for our youtube videos so i'm like listen i'm just gonna come in vlog style meaning no makeup and give it like a more casual ending the products have been great i have done really well with the pineapple line i really really like it for day three this looks really good it feels really good nice and fluffy and bouncy let me turn around 
So here's the thing. It's all a matter of gauging how I'm going to refresh. For me, with my type of curls and porosity, I have to wet my hair daily and pack in some moisture all over again because my hair is that thirsty. When I was a very damaged bleach blonde and my hair was just falling off my head, my hair was just depleted, barely hanging on. Cuticles were wide open, very thirsty. Took a lot of work to have it hold any shape, curl, let alone a coil. It would absorb all the products in. And so what I do on my refresh is I wet my hair every day and I go in with a leave-in oil cream and styler. Well, I always do that for sure, definitively on wash day. And then when my hair was damaged, I did that always every day too, because it took a lot to wear it down. That hair was like sucking everything in. Now that my hair is healthier, I've had to learn to grow with my changing hair, healthier hair, and get to know it all over again to see how I'm supposed to take care of it. And so when I refresh, I definitely go in with my leave-in every day. But then I have to now gauge, do I really need to add a styler every day? How's my hair doing? How's my hair looking? How's it feeling more than anything? Because I get built up faster, given the fact that my hair is healthier, it doesn't need as much as it did before. So it doesn't absorb everything in like it did before because the cuticles are not wide open. So what I've learned is, okay, fine. Use your leave-in every day, wet the hair at the leave-in because my hair does really well. But then I don't need to use a styler every day. And I've recently started weaning myself off of that because I get OCD and I'm used to doing things one way, regardless of what my hair is telling me. I'm going to continue doing the hair that way. And it's not always the best case. It gives me different looks every day. Yes, if I wanted to have a cleaner, less frizzy, more defined curly day today, for example, I should have added the styler. But I treated my hair like I would if I was going to go into like a five to seven day wash cycle. And when I do that, I have to gauge for longevity. How am I going to style my hair? Am I going to add the styler in every day? And so with the pineapple whip drip and grip super hold gel, they also said use a moderate amount. And they were right because it's a strong gel. So on wash day, it felt amazing. I was heavy handed. Second day yesterday, I did add in a little more and it already felt like it was a little too much, but my hair looked very defined, incredible. But to the touch, I could tell like, okay, girl, you need to hold back a little or it's just gonna get built up fast. Through no fault of the gel, it's just my handling of it. And so today, day three, I'm like, listen, I'm home. I don't need my curls to look fabulous. And also I do like some frizz, so it's not gonna be as crazy defined as it can be, but you know what? I get more volume. It's still defined enough. The curls are crazy happy, super springy. So the gel is doing its work. It's just a matter of seeing how often do you apply it? How heavy handed do you go on day one on wash day? And how do you incorporate into the rest of the cycle if you're the type of person who has to refresh a number of times before you wash your hair, which is what I am. So for me, if I was gonna continue this on into like a five to seven day cycle, tomorrow would have been day four. So day four, my hair feels fine, not too much buildup. So maybe tomorrow I would have like done tap, tap, however much gel I can get like tapping a little into my fingers, spreading it into the palms of my hands. And after having applied my leave-in oil, maybe a tiny tap, tap of cream, maybe not. Then I would have like tap, tapped that little bit of gel for just a little bit of kick to like hold me over. But I don't really need to add much more because it already is in the hair. I love it because, hey, it's doing its job and a little goes a long way and this is gonna last you a while. It's an incredible product with an incredible scent. I normally don't review mists because I'm not really a mist type of chick. Although with Sultanicals, I do own some mists because I'm like, well, why not? And so the Pineapple Twist Curl Mist is kind of like a bonus product that I've added into this video because it was technically a bonus product that they send my way a little gift. I do use a little finish finishing sealing oil when I'm done fully blow drying my hair, also by Sultanicals. So all I've done is I've just sprayed like one or two pumps on my hands, rubbed it on my palms. I mean, you can spray it straight onto the hair, but I get like paranoid. It's like, listen, I just blow dried my hair. I don't want to spray anything wet onto it, which is why I do it onto the palms of my hands, rub my palms together, let it dry a little bit before it's too dry and fully evaporated because it dries pretty fast. I put it on my hair, actually gives it a little sheen, beautiful little whiff of a scent. It's nothing overpowering, but I like adding in a little bit of that pineapple scent because it smells amazing and it's like a nice little mood pick me up and that's been my routine with the whole pineapple line this kind of caps off the series i love this entire line another testament of the magic of sultanicals how do you like it how do you use it anything and everything sultanicals comment below thank you guys for tuning in and i hope to see you in the next video if you like this one like comment subscribe hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more ciao for now